Do you have students in your class who are struggling with rhyming words? In this video, I'm going to share with you three activities that you can start using in your classroom today. and I help teachers create positive learning experiences for the students in their classroom. Rhyme awareness is one of those things where a lot of things need to happen at once in order for students to be successful. If students are struggling with rhyme awareness, it points to a bigger deficit in phonological awareness. For students to be able to rhyme orally, they not only need to understand the concept of a rhyme, they also have to be able to segment delete a phoneme, add a phoneme back in or substitute, and then blend it all back together. That's a lot going on. The first step in developing rhyme awareness is to have students listen to a lot of poems, stories, and songs. They need as much exposure as possible to what rhyming sounds like, as well as someone pointing out when words rhyme and why they rhyme. So let's dive in. The first place I like to start is segmenting rhymes. And by rhymes, I mean the rhyme of an onset and rhyme. So definitely keep that in mind as you begin to model rhyme segmentation. Start with words that have a single consonant as the onset of a word, such as pan or hook. For this, I like to use my hands to demonstrate exactly what I mean. So I'm going to use the word hook to demonstrate. So I'm going to put my fist together and say the word hook. Next, I'm going to move my fist apart as I segment the word hook. Then I bring my fist back together and say hook. So a little bit faster now. Pat, p, at, pat. Provide several examples and have your students to model after you. Throughout the day, give students words and onset and rhymes and have them to guess the word. Our next activity is name rhymes. Now what I love about this activity is using words that they are already familiar with, all the names of their classmates. I start off by telling them that throughout the day, I'm going to say their name, but in a silly way. I'm going to say their name and a word that rhymes with it as well. As you call student names for attendance or other reasons, say their name and another word that rhymes with it. For instance, Sydney, Lydney, or Chase, Vase, or Lola, Yola. For the purposes of this activity, you can use real words and nonsense words as long as they rhyme. As they start to get the hang of it, do it in reverse. You can say, who in here has a name that rhymes with Timberly and see if Kimberly picks it up. Our last activity is rhyme riddles. With these, I've learned that the simpler the rhyme, the better. Write down a few rhyming riddles beforehand. These are more hard to think of off the top of your head, so I like to keep a running list. Say the riddle and ask the students to provide the rhyming word. Ask them to think of a rhyming word that makes sense. The brown bat is very... If you find that your students are having difficulty determining what the rhyming word is, say the riddle again, emphasize which word they're trying to produce a rhyme for, and say the first sound of the rhyming word. For instance, the brown bat is... <sighs> I'm always on the hunt for more rhyming activities in the comments below, please let me know some of your favorite rhyming activities. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week.